Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Wright. I'm the Chief Medical Officer of the band. I'm joined today by Ruan Brell, Senior Legal Advisor. Hi, Ruan. Hi, Michael. Medicare and the rules and requirements associated with it can be complex. And in this series, we look at some of the top questions event members ask about Medicare and what you need to know. In this episode, we're going to have a look at whether you can bill Medicare if the patient themselves isn't present. This question comes up a lot and most commonly doctors asking if they can bill Medicare if a parent attends a consultation without their child. So as a GP, if I just see a parent without the child, can I bill Medicare? Thanks, Michael. The short answer is no, you can't. To explain that in more detail, we need to go back to the legislation, the Health Insurance Act, and that outlines the system under which Medicare payments are made. Um, so that act defines a professional service, which is what you're billing Medicare for, as a clinically relevant service, and that is rendered by or on behalf of a medical practitioner. It also states, as do the MBS explanatory notes, that to claim a benefit from Medicare, the personal attendance of the medical practitioner upon the patient is necessary. And that must be in place before a consultation being, can be considered a professional attendance. So this applies to consultations that are for children or the same that might apply for residents in an aged care facility. So it sounds like the parent and the patient need to be present to be able to bill Medicare. Yeah, Michael, that's correct. So during the consultation, you as the doctor need to be in a position to evaluate the patient's health issues. You need to arrange an investigation, screening, come up with a plan, provide advice to the patient, as well as provide the appropriate preventative health care. You also need to record the clinical details of the service provided to the patient. That can include giving advice to another person, such as the parent, but the patient does still need to be present for all of those services to be able to bill Medicare. Thanks for that. And, and what about for telehealth? I mean, we know it sometimes can be convenient for parents to book a video or a telephone consult, and perhaps the kids are at daycare um, and they're not in the room when you're doing those consults. Yeah, look, there are, the rules aren't any different for telehealth. So the need for the patient to be present is the same, um, whether or not the, the consultation is face-to-face -face by video or by telephone. So if you do want to bill Medicare for that, the patient should be present. And so what about if the patient just needs a script or referral? So as the doctor, do I always need to see them for that? Again, the answer is yes. So if the consultation is to be billed to Medicare, you do need the patient to be present. Benefits aren't payable for issuing a repeat prescription where the patient hasn't attended the practice. Um, this is for the same reasons as we talked about in terms of the essential requirements for what makes up a professional service and what enables Medicare to be covering the cost of that service. So even if it's for a repeat script, if you want to uh, charge that consultation to Medicare, the patient does need to be seen. But I could still bill them privately, couldn't I? Yes, you could. And, and we know in practice that does happen. And thanks for joining us today. And I hope you can join us on future episodes. Thanks, everyone.